I just got a package from a car guy's garage. I picked this up from their last chance reduced item sale. It's a replacement e-brake button for my TC to match up with my custom reverse lockout ring. Also inside the box is a personalized note. Derek, thanks for all the support over the years. I added two extra. You can do a giveaway or something from your channel. I will be back one day. See you then, Zenin. Thank you, man. Now, if you follow a car guy's garage online, you'll know that Zenin is only doing limited production runs right now. Let's see what else he sent. We have a gloss yellow one and this gloss red one. I'll give one of these away to a lucky viewer. All you need to do is post hashtag giveaway in the comments below. More info as well as the drawing date are in the video description. Let's get this installed. All I need to do is unscrew the existing button. It's definitely on there really tight, but I can feel it turning very slowly. Zenon mentioned that 2014 and up TCs may have this also glued in place, so you may need to resort to vice grips if you can't get it off. Looks like it's just held in place with nylon, similar to a lock nut. Now to install the new one. Once I get it lined up. You can adjust the height depending on how far you screw it on, but make sure you have it on halfway at a minimum. I'm going to screw it all the way down to see if I can still disengage the e-brake at the lowest position. It works without any problems. I'm just going to raise it up just a little bit. That looks really nice, and it's the perfect addition to my reverse lockout ring. I'm glad I didn't miss out on the opportunity to get one. I'll put a link to a Car Guys Garage website in the video description below. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now, and as always, thank you for watching.